Today I want to talk to you about magnifying your calling. What got me thinking about this subject was recently I was reading in Jeremiah uh, chapter 48 verse 42 where it talks about the uh, people of Moab uh, were, um, the Lord was not pleased with them because they magnified uh, themselves against the Lord. Um, and um, it made me realize that when the Lord commands us to magnify our calling, it's in the context of magnifying it unto Him or to bring glory unto God and not unto ourselves. I want to talk to you today about an experience I had uh, in magnifying my missionary calling. When I had been in Argentina for about two months, so I was still pretty new um, in, in the mission as a missionary, and uh, of course my language skills I were pretty bad. I didn't feel very confident um, speaking or, or teaching in Spanish yet uh, at that point in my mission. Um, but uh, my senior companion had to go uh, away for the whole day to work with the zone leaders and they arranged for me to stay in my area and do the work with a 17 year old boy from the branch. His name was Mario. So uh, while I wasn't thrilled at this uh, arrangement, uh, I, I went forward and, and tried to do the work as best I could. Uh, we had a couple of appointments set up to teach uh, discussions that day, but neither of those happened because uh, the people weren't home when we stopped by. So Mario and I ended up uh, street contacting and knocking doors and talking to people for the whole day. Uh, now, uh, at, at the beginning of the day, uh, I, I was expecting Mario would help where with my language deficiencies and so forth, but as it turned out, uh, Mario kept pretty quiet, uh, didn't say much uh, the whole day, and kind of uh, stood in the background and just listened and left me um, to, to, to do as best I could. Um, and I did, I tried to do my best. I felt like a, a bumbling fool at times. Um, but uh, I persevered, I, I tried to uh, contact people and tell them who I was, testify of, of Jesus Christ, and and of our message and uh, you know about halfway through the day I really wanted to just give up and go home because I was so tired and I uh, uh, felt so uh, um, un unable and, and uh, to, to do the work and un insufficient in my language skills but uh, you know I persevered and it, it actually turned out to be a, a, a very good day the Lord blessed us greatly we we talked to hundreds of people of those we taught 12, what we call uh, charla cortas, which are short discussions, and those are uh, short conversations with people, but long enough to touch on all the main principles of the first discussion. So we taught, taught 12 of those. Of those 12 people, uh, four people uh, agreed, uh, and, and we set appointments with them to come back and teach a first discussion, a full first discussion on another date. So I, I felt like um, at the end of that day, uh, as I was reflecting uh, on the day's work, that the Lord really blessed me uh, and Mario and um, had my companion, who was a native Argentine and spoke fluently, had he been with me uh, the whole day, that the work wouldn't have, have gone much different, if at all. We would have been able to contact the same people, testify to those same people, and, and and have the same discussions and same appointments for first discussions, and uh, and that's because the uh, it's the spirit that testifies. It's it's not our skills or our language ability. Uh, it's it's the spirit of the Lord. Uh, this is His work, and um, if we faithfully try to magnify our callings unto God, uh, then we'll be successful uh, as I was that day.